Hi everybody! In this video, we're going to take a short trip away from our discussion on probability to talk about odds. Now you may have heard odds before, maybe on TV. Oftentimes they're used to describe things involving gambling or sports. And it may seem like odds and probability are exactly the same. In fact, they have definitions that are slightly different, and we're going to look at those definitions in this video. But first, let's do a recap of probability. We know that theoretical probability is a comparison, a ratio between two things. It's the number of favorable outcomes over the number of total outcomes. So we'll use our die here as an example. The theoretical probability of rolling a six with that die is one sixth because there's one side that has the number six on it and there are six total sides, so one sixth. Let's take a look at how odds are slightly different. Now, first of all, there's two ways that you can talk about odds. You may see odds described as odds in favor of an event, or you might see odds against an event. And if you think about those two, the one you may have heard more is odds against. That's the type that are often uh, used in the media and different reports. But we're going to look at both. Let's start by looking at odds in favor. Well, instead of looking at favorable over total, what we're going to do different here is we're going to look at a comparison of the favorable outcomes to the unfavorable outcomes. Let's try an example here. The odds in favor of rolling a six with the die. Well, I know that there's one side that has a number six on it and five that don't. So what we say here is that the odds in favor are one over five. Now there's a couple ways to, that you can say this result as well. You can call it one, two, five with the word TO, and also that colon notation that you see right here would also suffice. So you have choices. You could write it as a fraction, you could write it using the word TO, or you could write it using colon notation. You have choices. How about odds against? Odds and against are very similar, but instead of favorable over unfavorable, we're going to take a look at the reciprocal. We're going to look at the unfavorable outcomes first and compare it to the favorable outcomes. So here, the odds against rolling a six in one toss of a die are, well, there's five sides I don't want to get, and there's one side I would want to get if I was looking to roll a six. So we say here that the odds are five to one. And I can, again, I can also use the colon notation if I like. So let's do a couple examples. Example one. So in a roll of a die, what are the odds in favor of rolling an even number? So I need favorable and unfavorable. So in a die, there's six sides. We know that there are three sides that have even numbers on them and three sides that don't. So we would say the odds in favor here are three to three. Now let's be careful about this one. We can reduce it, but if you reduce it, we need to call it one to one. We need to keep that comparison intact. Don't simply call your answer one here. So with odds, you have to be a little bit more careful about how you express your result. Let's take a look at example two. Rolling our die, what are the odds against rolling a five? This time I want unfavorable over favorable. I want to roll a five. I know that there are five things I don't want to get, five bad sides, and one good side. So here, the odds against rolling a sum of five, or rolling just a side of five, are five to one. Doing one die, though, isn't really all that interesting. Let's do one that's a little bit tougher to end the video here. Here's example three. If I roll two dice, what are the odds against rolling a sum of seven? This time I'm rolling two dice. And what we know about rolling dice is if we were to draw the whole chart out, there are 36 different outcomes when you roll two dice. How many of them would give you a sum of seven? How many wouldn't? And how do we have to put it? Well, keep in mind odds against are comparison of unfavorable to favorable. There are 30 sides that are unfavorable, or 30 outcomes that are unfavorable, and there's six ways to roll, to, to roll a seven. So here the odds in favor are 30 to six, but I'd like to reduce that to five to one. So odds only slightly different than probability, slightly different definitions, and you'll have some problems there to take care of.